right now I have with me Julie Townsend. She is the test lead for Athlete. Athlete's been out here at the Desert Rats for about four years right now. So Julie, can you tell us what's a little bit different this year as opposed to other years? Well, this is our second year with the uh, second generation athlete vehicle, which is made out of two triathlete vehicles that can split. So the robot can split into two three-legged triathletes, and those carry this cargo pallet with the habitat on top of them. So what type of specific modifications or upgrades have you guys made to this since last year? Well, the triathlete this year looks a lot like the triathlete last year. Most of the modifications we've made have been making the vehicle stronger and more reliable for our 40 kilometers of driving this year. So how many kilometers did you do last year? Maybe one or two. Last year, the triathlete robot was an infant. Um, we had just finished assembling both of the triathletes. Mm -hmm. About two weeks before we came to the field wow. test was the first time we mated them together into a six-legged athlete. And we were doing all sorts of different demonstrations that didn't require us to drive long distances. We found when we tried to drive that our new design had a few little flaws in it. And so we spent this year chasing down all those flaws so that we can drive seamlessly at least 40 kilometers, probably more, over the course of the two weeks of this test. So what is that black tarp back there? Oh, well, the black tarp that the robot is carrying, that's a uh, rain cover. Not something we really need for lunar operations, but here in Arizona, we have thunderstorms can, can crop up at any time. And so we've discovered last year with a vehicle that's this large, unfolding a tarp and trying to throw it over the top, not very realistic. So this year, athletes carry in its own rain covers. And all we have to do is set the robot down on the ground, and then we unfold that tarp over the legs and just strap it in place. So I hear you guys are gonna climb a fence this year. Well, climbing is not quite the right terminology for that, but around here, um, we're working on a ranch, and there are a lot of uh, barbed wire fences to mm -hmm. keep the cattle in one area or another. And the rovers have to cross, including athlete, have to cross these fences at some point during their route. Um, the advantage that athlete has being a legged vehicle is it doesn't just have to drive. It can also has the capability to step over these fences. Uh -huh. So in cases where it may be inconvenient for us to go through the fence or lay the fence down, we have another option. We can just step over the fence. Thank you for providing all the updates for athlete for us this year. Anytime.